into Class 3 company already um, for the third event here at uh, Charton. This is a 1,600-metre contest with Ultra Express, who has won twice on the turf. He's coming for a bit of an all-weather campaign. Uh, late for Tony Millard and Alexi Bedell. Golden Link, a three-time winner over the 1,400 metres, gets up from his 1,200-metre last start. Royal Bomb runner up on his last two. Leading Fortunes won three of his last four races. Super winner's probably our leader from Barrier 4. That's his normal MO. Precise Express, the last start, uh, course and distance winner from eight with Marrera. Mike Static, last start winner over the 14, comes up in class and born the same day, went from 1,000 to the 14 and out to the 1,600 metres for Francis Loy and Keith Young Tom. There's one horse that likes to lead here, Paul, that is super winner, so he'll definitely go forward. Uh, My Aesthetic, well, he led uh, last time out, didn't get too much uh, pressure, and uh, Golden Link is another one that can sit handy. Yeah, he, he likes to go forward as well. I thought it might be a little bit tricky for Happy Angel from his wide draw, but leading fortune can get himself into a nice place so he can precise express, and Ultra Express, I think, will go back from his draw for barrier number nine. Well, let's uh, start off with uh, the very consistent uh, Royal Bomb. He's been run up on his last uh, two times. Born the same day as well. Just three starts for him so far. They're both getting up from the 14 to the 1600 metres. Yeah, I think he's looking for class four on what we've seen so far. He was a bit uh, slow out. Uh, but uh, Royal Bomb, uh, he steps up to 1600 metres here for the first time. Um, it was no match for the winner on this uh, occasion. That, of course, was on point. And the rider did uh, lose the whip in last uh, start. But he gets his chance again, I feel, Paul. Yeah, look, he's, uh, he didn't quite make it in, but the 1600, I think, is probably going to be a positive. He has placed third over 1650. OK, we'll keep rolling then. Precise Express was a, uh, a last start winner with leading fortune. Well, bringing his uh, winning run to an end, uh, Paul, but he's had a great season uh, all the same. He was favoured, actually, for this race, leading fortune. Yeah, so look, um, both leading fortune and uh, uh, Precise Express go in. Precise Express sort of got first run on leading fortune and, and did win nicely enough. So I think they're both uh, one, two of the main chances. Yeah, leading fortune got uh, caught in some traffic at about the 350. Took a little while to uh, get clear, but uh, wasn't able to uh, run the winner down in the end. Who just drifted up off the track, courtesy of total power, running out uh, a little uh, there. Precise Express, I think, uh, certainly is one of the, the main chances as well. He can be a little bit uh, hit and miss, but uh, he's got Joe Maria on board. What about my ecstatic Tom? Comes up in class for his last start win. Now, he's only been here a couple of times before in class three. He has placed once. Yeah, I've left him out. It, it took him a, a long time to get that second win on the uh, board. So he's drawn nicely uh, again. Uh, got pretty much an uncontested lead last start, uh, Paul. But when he has won, he's never backed it up. That's the, that's the thing. I agree with you there. Because I remember him when, he, when he did win that race, I thought, this horse is just going to go on with it. And he just never did. He, he, he's taken a while. He had the conditions to suit. He won well enough. He's got a light weight. But look, I, I want to see him put two together. Mm. Oh, it was very impressive visually, wasn't it? Just watching yeah. that replay once more. But uh, in an open contest, uh, Royal Bomb is actually our favourite at this stage, Paul. Yeah, I'm going to go with a uh, horse, uh, Charity Grace. I just thought Charity Grace has been running some pretty consistent races. Was a winner three starts ago. And front barrier number two should get a nice run. So he's on top, uh, leading fortunes, consistent, precise express, a last start winner. The other one I'm going to put in is Ultra Express. This will be his first start this season on the turf. He's been running on the all-weather all season. Uh, he did win three times, two over the course and distance uh, on the turf last season. So I think uh, he, he's a possibility coming back onto the surface. Two, five, eight, and one. Five, eight, four, and a seven. I just think leading fortune struck a little bit of trouble at a crucial time last to start. Uh, Zach Purton sticks with the John Size train galloper. He's on top ahead of Precise Express. Uh, Royal Bomb makes it in. And I, look, I put in Boom Alliance. He was pretty poor last uh, time out. He was wide, no cover the whole trip, so a little bit of an excuse there and dropped right away. Good enough trial, I thought, coming into this. He was held uh, together. Back to 1,600 metres may not totally be ideal. Five, eight, four, and seven. A little bit from column A, a little bit from column B for me, but five and four is my cue there. I agree with Tom. Leading fortune, John Sy, Zach Pern from barrier number five. That is race number three, a class three over the 1600.